हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज डिस्कस्ड इन द अर्लियर वीडियो लेक्चर द सोल्यूशन फॉर द ड्रॉ टूल एंड द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन इट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन फॉर अ ड्रॉ टूल प्रॉब्लम नाउ द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज यू हैव टू ड्रॉ अ कप टाइप ऑफ अ शेप एंड द स्टेटमेंट हैज गिवन डिजाइन अ ड्रॉ टूल फॉर द कप as shown in figure given data is the material is ms thickness 1 mm and the yield strength is 450 newton per mm square now in the problem if we see the shape which is we required to draw from the sheet metal is having the height as 110 and the shell diameter as 70 mm and the radius for the cup is required to be 1.2 mm now the first step as calculation of the blank diameter this step can be carried out with the formula the blank diameter d is equal to square root of d square plus 4 dh where this d small d is the shell diameter we are knowing the shell diameter is 70 mm by keeping the value of small d and h we can have the blank diameter as under square 70 square plus 4 into 70 into height 110 so the blank diameter in this case becomes 188.94 mm now in this step only we have to add the trimming allowance the trimming allowance is added so that we can easily get the cup out from the the die and the the additional we can say the cup we can get cut or whatever the diameter we are increasing uh, the height we are going to increasing with the help of this blank diameter additional blank diameter so that trim operation we requ required to be carried out thereafter and for that purpose the thumb rule says that For every 25 mm of the shell diameter, you have to add the trimming allowance of 3.2 mm. Now here, the 70 is our shell diameter. So for 25, if the value of trimming allowance is 3.2, then for 70, what will be the value? So this cross multiplication we can have for this, and we can get the value of the trimming allowance as 70 into 3.2 divided by 25, which is equal to 8.96 mm. so we should add this trimming allowance into the blank diameter and the new blank diameter in this case becomes the blank diameter 188.94 plus 8.96 which is 197.9 which is approximately we can say that 198 mm we should consider so 198 mm blank diameter we have to take initially the sheet we have to take initially so that we can draw the cup with the 70 mm shell shell diameter and 110 mm of the the height step number 2 is getting the draw ratio so that we can get the value of how many draw operations will be required and for that purpose the draw ratio which is given as h by d ratio so h by d in this case it is 110 divided by 70 that is 1.57 as the value of this draw ratio is more than 1 so we can say that the the draw operation is critical and it will be required the number of steps so as earlier video i have given one table and from that table we can get if the h by d ratio is 1.57 then from the table we can say that three draw operations will be required to complete the operation so at least the three dies will be required three punches will be required so that we can complete this operation so step by step in the three operation we have to go <coughs> the next step is the overall percentage reduction so that we can get the three draws and for each draw what will be the percentage reduction we should carry out and in this case the overall percentage reduction if we go for directly from the blank diameter to the shell diameter so the overall percentage reduction by formula it is blank diameter minus shell diameter divided by blank diameter into 100 so this value becomes 64.64% as the value is more than 50% so we can again say that the 
operation is critical and we have to see the uh, permissible limits for the drawing as in earlier video it was been given that the permissible limits are in the range of first 45 percent then 30 percent as like so we have to consider the first operation if it is correct for 45 percent so the first reduction if we made by 45 percent so in that case so new plank diameter becomes earlier bank diameter 198 minus 45 percent reduction of 198 so value of the blank diameter comes 108.9 after reducing it by 45 percent so if this reduction if we apply directly 45 percent reduction if we apply so in that case the next reduction should be uh, minimum than 30 but in this case the percentage reduction comes as 108.9 minus 70 divided by 108 that is blank diameter minus shell diameter divided by blank diameter into 100 so it comes to 35 percent so in the permissible limits so after 45 percent the next value is 30 percent so your value should become 30 percent or less than that but in this case the value is more and this means that the initial draw operation by 45 percent it is not suitable in this case so we should think about the next probability for getting the reductions and for that purpose the next reduction probability and for that purpose the next we can say the operation we have made as the first reduction if we consider by 30 percent so by 30 percent the blank diameter in this case will be 198 minus 30 percent of 198 that is 138.67 and considering this new blank diameter if we go for the percentage reduction as the blank diameter minus shell diameter divided by blank diameter so the value it is it comes to the 49.49 percent .49%. so we can say the value comes below 50 percent that means that means the first reduction if we go with the 30 percent so the value comes below 50 that means this can be possible so the second reduction if we again make by 30 percent of the reduction so in that case the value again from the 138 which is the earlier blank diameter if we reduce again 30 percent so 138.6 minus reduction of 30 percent again that is 0.3 into 138.6 so the next value becomes next blank diameter becomes 97.02 mm so considering this new blank diameter if we go for the percentage reduction so the value is 97.02 minus 70 divided by 97.02 into 100 that is blank diameter minus shell diameter divided by blank diameter so this value comes as 27.85 which is less than 30 percent so we can consider the first reduction as 30 percent second reduction as again 30 percent and the third reduction as 27.85 percent so with these three steps we can carry out the drawing operation then it will be possible that we can draw the height of 110 and the shell diameter of 70 mm from, from the selected 198 mm blank diameter. So this is probably a good solution that we can reduce the blank diameter as 30% in first reduction, second reduction 30% and the third reduction as 27.85%. If we consider the earlier 45% reduction then it may be possible in that case that the cracks can be get developed and the drawing operation will not be the perfect because the second draw uh, reduction will be in that case will be 35 percent so we can cannot apply the 35 percent in the second reduction so it may be quite difficult uh, to go with the first probability so second probability is good and we can start our operation in this sequence only now the step number four is to draw the stage wise drawing if our uh, percentage reduction stage is complete so by considering that percentage reduction we have to draw the stage wise drawing so stage one is we have to consider the blank of 198 mm size then the first reduction we have made by 30 percent and in the 30 percent we have to draw a curve okay and for that curve the blank size is known to us that is 138.6 diameter by 30 percent reduction we are knowing this value but this height value is not known to us so we require to calculate over here and for that purpose again the same formula we have to apply that the blank diameter is equal to square root of d square plus 4dh 
Now in this case, the 198 is the earlier blank diameter which we are reducing by 30 percent and in that case the new blank diameter that is shell diameter whatever we achieved is 138.6. So by keeping that value that is 138.6 square plus 4 into uh, 138.6 and the unknown value of h. So h is unknown over here. So if we solve this, uh, this so we can get the, the value of the h and the value of the h in this case becomes 36.06 mm. So you have to write the value over here that is this value is in the first reduction comes as 36.06 mm. Now in the third step again we require to draw by 30 percent reduction and in this case the new we can say the blank diameter which is known to us by reducing the earlier 138.6 by again 30 percent the new blank diameter comes here as or the shell diameter comes as 97.02 mm and the height will be unknown in this case we require to again apply the same formula over here and we have to calculate the h2 what will be the h2 in this case so h2 h2 will be in this case that blank diameter in this case again we require to uh, consider as 198 because the earlier blank diameter is same 198 mm and we have reduced it to the d small d and in this case the d becomes 97.02 so considering this value we have to calculate the h value so h2 will get a over here and in the third reduction we have gone for 27.85 percent reduction okay so that we can achieve the last step that is the shell diameter becomes 70 mm and the height becomes 110 or it will be more in this case because we have added the trimming allowance which we require to cut thereafter so this way you have to draw with respect to a center line you have to draw the the three curves and in the three steps we have reduced the component okay so that we can get the final component as like you have to show in the stage wise drawing now after completion of the stage wise drawing we should move for the next step that is size of the punch and the tie now in this case we should always know that the draw operation in which size the size of the punch it will be provided with the clearance and the clearance is of the twice the thickness so the in the first reduction the curve size which is there we got is 138.6 after reducing the blank of 198 we are reducing it to 138.6 so the punch size in this case is 138.6 minus 2t that is the uh, clearance provided on the punch so this value becomes 136.6 mm so that we can say this punch if we provide so we can get the value inside the the die for the shell it is 138.6 size of the die in this case it will be provided with the plus clearance so that the cuff will be get inside and we can have the die clearance as or the size of the die in this case becomes 138.6 that is the the cuff uh, size plus 2c and the 2c value for the die it will be provided with the formula as 2.20 of the thickness so 2c value is 2.20 of the thickness or c value as earlier said in the video the C value is 1.20 of the thickness that means 2C becomes 2.20 of the thickness. So thickness in this case is provided as 1 mm. So the 2C value for this die becomes 2.20 into 1 mm thickness that is 1.20 uh, mm. So the final size of the die becomes in the first reduction as 138.6 plus 2.20 that is 140.80 mm. So the first uh, reduction operation it will be provided with the die size of this diameter and the punch size of this diameter now in the second reduction the size of the punch as the size of the cup in the second reduction is 97.02 minus the 2t that is the clearance provided on the the punch 2t so the value becomes 95.02 mm and the size of the die in this case so 97.02 is the cup size in the second reduction plus 
2.20 of t that is thickness thickness is 1 mm that is that's why directly i have written here 2.20 so we can have 99.22 mm as the size of the die for the second reduction so this will be becomes the second die and second punch which will be required so that we can reduce the cup up to 95.02 uh, mm or we can say uh, 97.02 mm in this case the third reduction we can have for and in that case size of the punch becomes the exact size which will be required so that is 70 so 70 minus 2t that is the clearance on the punch so the size of the punch in this case becomes 68 mm and size of the die will be 70 plus 2.20 mm so 72.20 mm will be the size of the die so this way you have to write the how many reductions will be required so for that reductions you have to calculate the size of the punch and the size of this die with the formulas that for the size of the punch so cup size in that draw minus 2t it becomes size of the punch and size of the die as the cup size plus 2.20 of the thickness okay so according to that you have to go for this step then the next step is to provide the corner radius for the punch and the die so as earlier said the cup requires the drawing operation and in that case the sheet should not be get uh, ruptured and for that purpose we require to provide the corner radius on the die and the punch and for that purpose the formulae or the thumb rules are been provided and for the corner for the first draw the corner radius on the punch it will be provided as 40 so here thickness is 1 mm so 4 into 1 that is 4 mm we require to provide the corner radius on the punch corner radius on the die we can take from 6 to 10 of the thickness in the in this case i have taken 6 into thickness so that is 6 mm so you can assume any value from 6 to 10 over here in the second draw again i have taken the punch uh, corner radius for the punch as 4 into thickness 4 mm and corner radius on the die i have taken 40 so it becomes in the case 4 mm in the third row the corner radius on the punch should be 1.2 mm because we require to have the 1.2 mm as an inner side radius for the curve which we require to be draw so the final value on the curve that is already given in the numerical that is 1.2 mm corner radius it has been required and that should be given on the punch and the corner radius on the die so we require to have the, the 4 mm so this way you have to provide the corner radius on the punch and the die in this step the next step is to calculate the drop force blank holding force and uh, provide the press capacity required to complete the operation so the drawing force in this case as given by the formula fd drawing force fd it is pi into d into thickness d is the shell diameter so pi into d into thickness into sigma yield into d by d minus c the capital d is blank diameter and small d is in the shell diameter and minus c that this c is the constant whose values we require to take as 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 or in between that so in this case the blank diameter is 198 mm small d that is shell diameter is 70 mm thickness is provided 1 mm and c value we can take from 0.06 to 0.7 in this case we have assumed it 0.6 and sigma yield value is given 450 newton per mm square so we have converted it as 450 by 9.81 so that we can have the value in kg per mm square now the value if we put this all values into the formula of fd we will get the final drawing force as 3.14 into 70 into 1 into 45.87 into 198 by 70 minus 0.6 so by keeping this value we get the drawing force as 22468.96 kg that means 22.46 ton capacity will be required for the drawing operation but again only the draw operation the drawing force is not important the blank holding force is also required which will be again provided by the press and whose value is one third of the draw force so by thumb rule it was been considered that one third of the 
the drop course and one third of 22468.96 it is the value becomes 7489.65 kg so by adding this blank holding force and the drop force we can get the press capacity and in this case the press capacity becomes 29958.61 after addition of fd plus fb so we can say that approximate 30 ton capacity machine will be required so that this operation can be completed thank you